Hey y'all, it's Josh King from Melbourne, Australia. I've written a great new dance with my good friend Darylin Pajak from Winnipeg, Manitoba over in Canada. This is to Stuck in the Middle with You by Steeler's Wheel. It's a song I've loved for a long time. I've been thinking about doing something to it and uh, we thought this would be a great song to do in honor of our uh, COVID-19 coronavirus quarantine stuck in the house with the family, a bit of cabin fever. So we thought we'd do a little dance to it, get up, move around a bit. So hope you enjoy it. I'm going to start you out with the intro. And it's also a break through the middle of the dance. Nice and easy. We're going to do a step cha-cha. So with the left foot, you step forward. You've got forward, back, and one, two, three to turn to the back. And then a triple on the right foot. And then we do it again. Forward, back, and one, two, three. And you can do like fancy cha-cha hands if you want lately and only because everyone in my family told me it was goofy, which makes me want to do it more. I like to do the 1970s macho man on the cha-cha. So I'm going one, two, three, and then check this out back here. See, I know you like it too, or you think it's goofy, but either way, that's it. That's the intro and the break. Back to you, Darylin. Hey there, it's Daryl and Pajak from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Thank you, Josh, for that awesome intro. Don't you just love when he goes like this? I love that part. All right, I am going to show you the uh, verse for this. Oh, first, I wanted to show you my shirt. I actually bought this just outside of Melbourne, Australia, when I went to Phillip Island. So if you ever find yourself out in that area, make sure you go check up check out Phillip Island. You can watch all the penguins walk in out of the ocean every night. It's a phenomenal sight. Anyway, the verse, we're going to start with a clamato clap. So some of you may have seen the clamato step before. It was a step that, create, that was created by Andy Howard. We've kind of modified the ending a little bit to do a clap instead of a brush, how it typically ends. But let me show you the clamato clap. We're going to do a slur step, slur. You're going to do two double steps crossing over. Your left foot is free. You're going to do a step, step as you do a half turn to the back. Step, step, and you're almost there. You're going to do a rock step, and then we're going to do a clap. A typical clamato would have a brush, but we're just going to do a clap instead. So it's a half turn right, but you move to the left first. Clamato clap. A slur, double step, double step, go step, step, rock step, clap. All right, so let's pretend this is the back right now. You just finished the clamato clap. Then we're gonna do a step clap combo. So you're gonna go step, step, clap, and then step, step again, clap, clap. So the step clap combo is step, 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 step. All right, so let's tack that on to the clamato clap first. Left foot, ready, and slur, two double steps, step, Step, rock, step, step, clap. You're going to do a stomp basic brush. So a stomp, a basic step, and a brush up. Exactly what the step name is. Your left foot is free. You're going to repeat all that to the front. So you're going to do your clamato. Step, step, rock, step, clap. Then we're going to do a... Oh, pardon me, I'm sorry. The clamato clap, we're gonna do two claps. That's what I thought when I did it there. I thought it sounded funny. We're gonna do two claps on that clamato. So let's just take it from the back. Clamato clap, and then you're gonna do the step clap combo when you get to the front. So, slur, double step, double step, 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 rock, step. So we're gonna do that clap, clap, step, step, one clap, step, step, two claps, stomp basic brush. Then we get to that famous line, clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. So easy footwork. You're just gonna go side, step, side, step. So side together, side together, but make sure it's a touch at the end, and then a great vine to the right, okay? Now, of course, we had to add in some funny arms for this. So clowns to the left of me. I want you to take your two pointer fingers, and you're gonna point to someone at your left. And this is assuming we can all get on the dance floor together soon and dance this all together. So if you're at home alone, picture a clown to the left of you. But when we're on the dance floor, just pick any random person. Go clowns to the left of you. 
Then when we come back with the grapevine, you're gonna point to someone to the right, but your left pointer finger is gonna go in a circle. So jokers to the right. And we were even, when Josh and I were writing this, we were even jokers to the right. So you can do some funky knees there or whatever, but basically this part is clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. So again, I'm doing the circle like this. So it looks like this. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Then you're gonna go stuck in the middle with you. So we're, we call this an over the stick. Over the stick, over the stick. So along the lines of an over the log step, we're gonna go step, 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 out in chuck. So you're taking two quick steps forward and clapping, two steps back and clapping, two steps back again and clapping, and then an out in chuck, out in chuck. So over the stick, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, out in up. All right, so let's do the whole first. You've got your clamato clap to the back, the step clap combo, and a stomp basic brush. Repeat it all to the front. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, over the stick. Here we go. Clamato clap. Blur, double step, double step, 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 rock, step, step, clap. Stomp basic with the brush. Clamato clap. Step, 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 clap. Stomp basic with the brush. Clowns, jokers, over the stick. All right, Josh, it's your turn. Take it away. Hey, welcome back. Let's move on to the chorus. So your left foot's free. Now, there's a step that I really like from one of my older dances, and Daryl and I were talking about it, and we thought, yeah, we should use that, and it seemed to fit the music really well. So this is called The Spider. It's from a dance called Homespun Love, if you've ever learned that. If not, you should look it up. Go check it out on my website, www.theclogdog.com. It's by Keith Urban in the Ranch, but I digress. The spider on the left foot. We're going to start with a step on the left. Your right foot's free. We've got a scuff up with your heel and then a heel click. So together we've got step, scuff, up. With the right foot now, we're going to touch your heel and step on it. So all together we've got step, scuff, up, heel, step. Tap your toe in the back, heel click to pick it up. Now that pattern's important because we're going to repeat it. So one more time. Step, scuff, up, heel, step, tap, lift. And then with your left foot, we do the exact same pattern, but without the step. So on your left foot now, we do scuff, up, heel, step, tap, lift. Okay, so again, the left foot, scuff, up, heel, step, tap, lift. And when we put all that together, we've got step, scuff, up, heel, step, tap, Lift, scuff, up, heel, step, tap, lift. Right foot, we finish up with a rock step. And that's the spider. I'll do it one more time and then we'll add on. Step, scuff, up, heel, step, tap, lift, scuff, up, heel, step, tap, lift, rock step. With your right foot free, we'll do a stomp double to turn all the way around. Stomp, double step, double step, rock step. And then a Charleston kick. Double step, kick front. Toe step, rock, back. I gotta watch my little minimal dance floor here, otherwise I might fall into the, the carpet of doom. So we do that Charleston kick, and then we go into another spider. It's so much fun, we get to do it again. Step, scuff, up, heel, step, tap, up, scuff, up, heel, step, tap, up, rock, step. But we don't do the rest of it. So after the second spider, we do four pivots. I don't know why I almost held up three fingers four pivots, but they're like little quarter pivots. And this is the part in the music where it's got this real nice cowbell. So you could have a prop, but in the meantime, we're just going to do a nice little clap like you're hitting the cowbell, or you could even do a little fake cowbell. But with your right foot, all we're doing is pivot turn. So they're nice little pivots to do a quarter on each. And I like to roll them a bit so you get that nice sort of, you know, nice little motion with it because then you throw in that cowbell and you look really nice, sort of 70s grooving, okay? So four pivots with the right. We've got one and two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight on the cowbell. 
And then we're going to do a rock slur combo. So you actually start out with a step on the right foot and you're going to go pull, step, step, pull, step, step, pull, step, step, pull, and step. So it's four counts and you just repeat that pattern. So I'll do that one more time. The rock slur combo, you start with a step out. So we have step, one, two, three, and behind, side, side, behind, side, side, and step. And that last step hits on that cowbell as well. And that's the end of your chorus. So I'll try dancing the whole thing with you. Spider on the left. Step, scuff, up, heel, down, toe, up, scuff, up. Heel down, toe up, stomp, double turn around, and a Charleston kick, double step and kick, toe step, spider again, step, scuff up, heel step, toe up, scuff up, heel step, toe up. Now the pivots, one and two, three and four, five and six, and the rock slur combo, pull, step, step, pull, step, step, pull, step, step, pull, and step. And that's the end of your chorus. Now, normally, you'll go back into the intro or the break, which is the cha-cha and the triples. And daryl has got you for the next part. Back to you. All right, thanks, Josh. Don't you guys just love that spider step? I learned that one so many years ago in his dance, Homespun Love, and it's always been a class favorite, the dance and that particular step. All right, we're gonna move on to the instrumental section. We're gonna do, this is a nice easy part, Samantha three quarters right. So you start with your left foot. My left foot is free. I'm gonna do a triple kick turning quarter left, so that's going to turn you to the back, and then a triple step on the right foot. We're going to repeat all that, so you're going to do a Samantha three quarters, triple kick, turn to the front, and a triple. Then we're going to do a heel chain, kind of going diagonal forward. So, and it was funny when, when Josh and I were writing this, we're kind of grooving into it. So I want you to kind of do some choo-choo arms. Got a step, rock, step, rock, step, rock, step. Right foot spray, two basic as you move back. And then you just repeat that on the right foot. So heel chain moving forward, two basics coming back. Double step, heel step, heel step, heel step, basic. So here's the whole instrumental. Samantha, turn three quarters. Triple kick to the back, and a triple. Samantha, three quarter turn. Triple kick, turn to the front, and a triple. Heel chain to the front, basic. Heel chain, basic. All right, one more part for you to learn. Josh is gonna show you the ending. Take it away, Josh. And we're back. Great job, Darlin. Let's keep it rolling. So all we've got left is the ending. Now, it's a step you sort of already know. You'll remember we did over the stick a little while ago. So this is called over the twig. So it's similar music, but it changes up a little bit. So over the twig, you're going to do a pivot turn with your left foot. You're going to pivot halfway to the back. And then with your left foot free, we're going to do jump forward, jump, jump, clap, jump back and clap. And then we do that pothole that we have out, in, up with the left. Okay? So it's sort of like the end of over the stick, but just the end. You just go forward and back once instead of forward and back twice. So over the twig, again, is pivot, turn, jump, 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 out, in, up. And you see there's no pause after the pivot turn. So I'll do it again because we're going to do it a few times. Left foot again, it's pivot, turn, jump, jump. Pivot, turn, jump, jump, and clap, jump back, and clap, and out, in, up. And then we actually do that twice more. So we're going to go pivot to the front, jump, jump, jump back, and out, in, up. Pivot to the back, jump front, jump back, and out, in, up. So three times we do that. And then we finish with a back cross and turn. So with your left foot, I'll show you the low impact and the high impact version. The low impact, you just step behind with your left foot, 
spin to the front, and while you're turning, you get those hands out to the side so you can jazz fingers. And that's just a ba da 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 da. Or if you want to do the high impact version, you jump into that cross instead of just stepping. So you have cross and turn. And then you've got your cool 70s jazz fingers for the ending. So that's the whole thing. I'll do that section one time all the way through. So we've got over the twig with the fancy hand move. So we've got because it goes right on this big cymbal crash. So we're going to go pivot, turn, jump, 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 and out, in, up. Pivot, turn, jump, jump. Jump back and out in up, pivot, turn, jump, jump, jump back and out in up, bum, bum. Now let's dance it. All right, thanks, Josh. Here is the final dance through of Stuck in the Middle with You by Steeler's Wheel, choreographers Josh King and myself, Darylin Pajak. And this is at full speed. Here we go Stuck in the Middle with You. You're gonna start with your left foot, you're gonna do that cha-cha. Here we go. Triple, or do that Josh pose. Triple, come out and clap. Turn it to the back, step back. Strong basic with the right. Come out and clap. Step left. it was kind of appropriate given the circumstances of the world right now kind of get that cabin fever like Josh said and feeling stuck in your home um, anyway hopefully we'll be able to do this dance with you on the dance floor someday till then make sure you're stay, staying safe and stay healthy and I'm just going to pass it over to Josh one more time take care everyone 
Hey, thanks for dancing with us. In all seriousness, I hope everybody's staying safe and sane and healthy. Um, all of the online dancing that's happening is fantastic. So keep up with your favorite classes and your favorite teachers and keep supporting them. And maybe this will all continue after things get back to normal. But um, thanks for dancing with us again.